Are you starting your freelance journey but have no idea where to start? Well, in this video, I will say exactly what I would do if I was in your shoes. So if you're interested in knowing what to do, this video is for you. Stay tuned. In case I wonder who is this guy telling me how to start my freelance journey, well, you can check some of my stats here. 20k on Upwork, 6k on Fiverr. So as you can see, these numbers are not easy to attain. So please stay tuned. I'll make this quick. And by the end of this video, you will know what steps to take to start making money online as a freelancer. I've never done a video like this before. It took a lot of research, introspection, and now I'm ready to present it to all of you who are ready to learn. So please subscribe, like, comment. I started a channel with the aim of only 500 subscribers. It has exceeded that 576, I'm very grateful. So thank you all. And let's get straight into the video, enough chit chat. Let's get straight into the video. The first step I take is to analyze and study myself. Every individual in this world is unique. Every individual taking this journey is unique. We all have things that we're good at and things we are not so good at. The reason why I say this is that it will take me much longer to study a skill that I'm not remotely good at. So it's better to do something more in my wheelhouse, you know. So for example, I do not have much IT experience in development, coding, and SQL and all those things. I don't. If I say I'm going to study that, it will take me a year to be good at it, to be able to offer. And by the time I'm studying, I'll lose motivation, I'll lose hope. And I'm like, what's the point of doing this? So if I look deep into myself, I know that, oh, I'm good at English, I'm good at social media, graphic design, those things are easy to me, right? So I'll just analyze and look at what I can offer for money that falls in that bracket. So let's say writing. I had a blog before I started freelancing. So I knew that, okay, if I had a blog for myself, I can write for other people to make money as well. Because there are lots of businesses all over the world where the owners do not have time. They're so busy catering to clients, so they need freelancers to help them do things like what you can offer as a service. So that's what I'll do. I'll analyze myself, go deep, know what I'm good at, study what I'm good at, and figure out what niche I can offer to make some good money. That's the first step. Let's go to step two. The second step I take is to create a quick portfolio of my services and skills. Would you buy a food from a vendor who has never sold food before? or has no evidence of selling food before. No, you won't. So as a freelancer, you have to have some mock projects. Just spend this time playing around. If you want to write, play around with writing articles and um, fake articles for maybe um, BMW, if you are into cars or for makeup brands, if you're into makeup, like just create things and put them in a portfolio. It can be on a website. If you're into graphic design, there are lots of free portfolio website places that you can post your designs at. I have a portfolio website here. I think I'll put it on the screen for my graphic designs. I haven't uploaded anything in years, but that's it. So just play around. Play around with what you are envisioning that you offer for money. Because one day it's very, very possible. People will come to you saying, Offer this, I'll pay you that. So play around. This is a time you fantasize and romanticize your skills and just have a feel of how it is like to work and serve people who will be looking for that service in the future. If you are into social media management and growth, try creating social media pages, try growing them from zero to any amount that you can do and that will help you in the future. So that is the second step I'll take. Let's go to the third step. The third step basically is I am ready to receive money. So I'll sign up for Pioneer and Gray. Wise is not too friendly to Ghanaians and Africans at the moment. And GigPay is not good. I do not recommend GigPay because at this stage, a dollar is about 13.8 CDs, which is ridiculous. So Gray and Pioneer 
I will sign up for those two payment platforms so I know that whenever I get a deal with a business, they can send the dollars to those accounts and I can transfer those dollars to my local currency and chop. That is the third step. Just sign up, fill the details, uh, put your ID and everything I need to do to be official on those platforms. Now, the fourth step, the fourth step I'll take is to join freelance platforms. So as you can see, I don't just get up and join the freelance platforms without taking these steps. The fourth step is when I actually join Upwork and Fiverr. Both of them have pros and cons, but both of them are very, very useful as a freelancer. Even to this day, I'm still getting clients on Fiverr, even though you cannot really bid for jobs there. So I would join both platforms, create gigs, creates a profile that is very attractive. Look at other people who are offering the services I want to offer. Look at the best of the best. It's easy to find out on Upwork and Fiverr. I can create a video showing that if you are interested, you can comment it below. But look at people who are successful doing what you want to do and follow the example. Don't copy and paste their profile, but follow the example. Offer much lower rates since you're a beginner and then make your profile look very good. It takes time for this step. It can take even a week. Step one can take a week. Step two can take a week. Step three can take a week. And this is step four. So it's a slow process. Once you get it right, then you can focus on step five. Step five is the most important step as a freelancer. It's what makes or breaks you as a freelancer. It's what determines if you will be successful or not as a freelancer. You can be someone with a much lower skill and out earn someone with a much higher skill if you are good at this step. And this step is outreach, applying for jobs, proposals, whatever way you want to call it. That is step five. I will begin applying for jobs on Upwork. I'll begin going to LinkedIn, uh, reaching out to business owners, founders, people in positions of power, reaching out to them simply by saying, hey, um, I like what you're doing at your business. I would like to, do you need any help with this service? If yes, I'd like to help you for a discounted rate or whatever your pitch is. Do that over and over again. And I find out I even got a job from Craigslist before. Craigslist. So there are so many places outside the freelance platforms that I can apply for jobs. So you also have to explore those options as well as those on freelance platforms as well. So that is step five. Now, when I'm done with this, what is the final step that I'll take? Step six is reinvesting in myself. So once in a while, I remember in 2020, June, when I started freelancing, my highest earning gig was not even discovered. It was in December that I discovered that niche. So don't think that because you decide on one niche, it cannot change. If you have to keep researching, keep seeing what you can offer that isn't that popular and can make you some money, you can pick up more skills because you are never the best at anything unless you keep learning and evolving. So that's what you have to do. Reinvent yourself, reinvest in yourself, keep learning, keep improving, and that's what I'll do. So yes, thank you if you made it this far. These are the six steps I would take if I had to start my freelance career all over again. If you are starting, all the best. You can reach out to me on Instagram at Midas Thoughts. I will help you as much as I can or as much as time allows me to. Subscribe for more content like this. Like, it helps the algorithm. And thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.